swathing out today. Uh, the guys are in the canola. We should be done canola today. Uh, they're just into their last 80 acre field and then we're moving back into wheat. Uh, the guys have been working long hours. Um, we are typically we don't finish until after midnight. Um, then up every day in the morning uh, as the crew shows up. Um, so we're running about an eight man harvest crew right now. And then uh, my honey staff is still going. I, uh, we have the hot room full of boxes, so there's uh, four guys in there um, extracting every day <coughs> in the morning. Uh, we sit out in the yards and we're stripping boxes off and such. And then in the afternoon, I got a guy going around feeding. So uh, we're busy in all directions. Andre is scrambling uh, in the cattle yard. He's kind of by himself uh, because everybody's dedicated to the harvest field. Uh, so he's doing all the uh, he's doing all the chores himself. Starting to wean some calves off, get some bull calves in. Um, we're having to feed. Our pastures are burnt right off. So he's quite concerned about that. He's making the rounds, making sure the pastures all have enough water and such. So it's been a little bit of a challenge for him. Um, but one uh, good thing to say is we have an excellent silage crop coming in. Uh, so we have feed this year. So rest be sure. We are hoping for a little bit of rain just to help that silage finish off a little bit. And for the soybeans, they desperately need rain along with the grasses. But at the same time, it'd be nice to get the, uh, the cereal and oil seed harvest done here. It's 29 degrees today. It's a beautiful harvest day. I'm getting a little bit tired, but uh, this is what I'm geared for. And this is what we're geared for. I just love it. is empty. And forward. 